Hello everyone, welcome to a new Decred Biweekly News Update. Lately, there has been a ton of discussion around marketing and how we can bring Decred to the masses and get this project the recognition it deserves. Discussions are taking place on the Decred subreddit, Discord, and on chat.decred.org. This effort is being spearheaded by popular on-chain research analyst Checkmate, who has been regularly driving discussion weekly on Reddit on how we can improve the Decred protocol and discuss any skepticisms the community may have. The general consensus is that the project does indeed need marketing in order to spread awareness and grow, but it needs to be done in a fashion that puts results first while remaining low in cost. Past efforts were the opposite. They weren't driven by metrics and were expensive, leaving a bad taste in stakeholders' mouths towards any marketing campaigns. With so many different crypto projects out there, many of which spending large sums of money on marketing, how do we make Decred stand out and kickstart a network effect that will raise the value of the currency while doing so in a creative way that makes the project go viral? Sound, legitimate efforts and ideas are welcome. Time-wasting shower thoughts are not welcome. However, we created a new chat room for them if you'd like to share yours. Anyways, let's get into this week's news updates. Decred has been listed on the XT.com exchange with BTC and USDT pairs. The exchange offers up to 20 times leverage on trades. Inside Crypto Today wrote up an article on Politea explaining how the platform facilitates Decred's governance and the life cycle of proposals. It's great to see more eyes on Politea, with the author clearly understanding its importance for the Decred DAO. Schnorr's signatures will be used on T-spend transactions, Decred dev Marco Pirubum reports, the Decred project decentralized treasury spends just became a bit shinier. There has been discussion on Twitter over whether Decred is decentralized finance. While some want to avoid the term, others want to embrace it as it is gaining popularity. Clara Kerr says Decred could market itself as the true DeFi platform. Ash says Decred is the only DeFi project that is decentralized and secure. ChatJC says I don't know what counts as DeFi, but the initial release of DCR Dex for Mainnet is very close. Non-rent-seeking, open-source DEX software that anyone can operate with no utility tokens or needless complexity since there are no trade fees. The DEX is going to be one of many examples of rigged systems unrigged via the Decred DAO and the Stakeholder Collective. Leave a comment in the video description if you think Decred should embrace the DeFi hashtag or stay away from it to avoid being lumped in with unfavorable projects. DCRD version 1.6.0 is 95% complete as per GitHub. This release is absolutely huge for the project as it will add privacy and decentralized treasury spending, among other important updates. I believe marketing efforts will be much more fruitful once we have these core features in place. DCR Australia has coined the term DCR diet, whereby people choose to spend their money on buying Decred over fast food or unnecessary items. I actually do wish I had bought more DCR instead of buying that drink. I really think we can bring Decred to the masses by ramping up our meme itch so guys don't hold back, let's see some memes. Decred developer Jamie Holdsock reports that VSPD is nearing completion and that they are looking for VSP operators to help test it on mainnet. VSPD brings a few different new benefits such as increased user privacy like no address reuse and the option to use CoinShuffle++. Decred's privacy implementation when staking. There's also no more account registration. Binance has added a new DCR pair with the Binance USD stablecoin. Chris Berninski of Placeholder mentioned Decred on the Bankless podcast. If you don't involve people in the governance of your system and then things start to go south, then they'll defect, right? And often in crypto, that's forking. Um, they'll go create another community or they'll raise hell within your community and that becomes um, its own mess. If you look at something like Decred, um, you know, this bear market has been tough on Decred, but it stirred up a lot of conversation within the Decred community and we haven't seen Decred forking, right? You look at say something like Bitcoin, Bitcoin has had numerous forks um, because there's no governance venue to reconcile disputes. Whereas with Decred, um, there is a venue to do that. And so, and the system is designed to remain coherent. But then with anything that wants to evolve more, um, you know, you, you ideally want to remain coherent through your evolution and not constantly be losing limbs of your community because you lack a, a venue to debate and agree on the path forward. And so, um, you know, I think that over the long term, good governance, equitable governance is things that, um, involve people that give people a voice to at least be heard um, are key to to surviving and to resilience even if they may slow down you know week to week execution through you know a little bit of analysis paralysis and, and being too distributed the latest decred in depth podcast roundup has been released 
on a pound for pound basis, each eat for each dollar that the market cap goes up, Decred's fundamentals um, boost substantially higher than any other cryptocurrency network. Um, that, right. Cause it has the treasury. It, it becomes more self-fundable in the future. Um, it becomes more secure from a POW and proof of stake perspective. There's a lot more DCR uh, percentage of supply locked up in tickets compared to what there's been historically. So I think it's one of those things that once you knock over one domino for Decred, um, I think there'll be a rocket ship type effect. Um, I, I've, I've said this a couple of times to a few people that I think Decred is one of those coins that because of the, the staking and lockup and the, the strong hodler base that the network has, it tend, it's going to be one of those coins that, in my opinion, obviously this is not like uh, canon or anything, but um, it's going to be one of those coins that over time, it tends to actually uh, take the elevator up and stairs down as opposed to the other way around, which people are used to. It is a project that's built to outlast pretty much everything else. It's sustainably funded. Uh, you know, the thing has got the security element that is extremely hard to attack in a logistical environment. The monetary policy is sound. Richard Red created a fun play animation video featuring a ticket that is called the vote immediately after entering the ticket pool. Remember, tickets are chosen pseudo randomly once entering the ticket pool, though it usually takes around one month. Check out my how to stake video on this channel to see just how easy it is to buy tickets of your own. Maybe yours will be called to vote in the next block, but no promises. On Politea, we have three new proposals being discussed and one proposal that has finished voting. The augmented reality posters proposal for Mission and Sylvia is currently up for discussion. The goal is to create 10 augmented reality posters for Decred that would be used as marketing materials for both the internet and in-person events. These posters do not require special virtual reality glasses to view, you only need to use your mobile device, and for certain posters, a free mobile app. Here's an example of what the virtual reality looks like viewed through a phone. Mission says they are ready to start the work on the posters immediately and that one poster per month would be delivered at a cost of $1,500 for 10 successive months, making the total ask $15,000 payable in Decred for 10 augmented reality posters. Thus far, comments have been critical about the purpose and effectiveness of having virtual reality posters, also questioning the why portion of the proposal, which says the proposal authors would like to expand their portfolio which isn't seen as suitable for Politea. Commenters have also requested that Decred-specific posters be generated so the community would have a better idea of what to expect. B has published the Moderation of Decred Communications proposal. The goal of this proposal is to establish a budget for the moderation and management of Decred's primary communication platforms on Matrix, Politea, Discord, and Telegram over a period of six months. This is work that has been ongoing, but it has now been brought to Politea to be approved by stakeholders as with the upcoming decentralized treasury. All projected expenditures must be built against an approved proposal, making expenditures completely transparent to stakeholders. The proposal asks for a cap limit of $1,500 a month with expected costs of $800 per month. This translates to a maximum of $9,000 per month with an expected amount of $4,800. Moderation of Reddit was initially included in the proposal, but it was removed due to Reddit's policy that forbids paying moderators. The highest ranked comment is happy these types of things are moving to Politea to get stakeholder approval. However, he doesn't believe Decred needs paid mods, citing the Bitcoin and Monero communities, which are run by unpaid volunteers. The general idea here is that by paying people, you scare off potential volunteers that would work for free and that it hampers organic community growth. Others voiced similar thoughts, though there was praise towards the budget and layout of the proposal. A new proposal from Travala has been published. Travala is a platform for flight, hotel, and accommodation booking focusing on cryptocurrency technology and the community built around it. Think of it as the cryptocurrency version of Expedia, which is partnered with Travala. For a cost of $51,500 US dollars payable in Decred, Travala will integrate Decred on their platform and on Travel by Bit, which is powered by Binance. They will also run an advertising campaign to help boost the brand. Advertising includes videos, banners, stories, press releases, blogs, and explainers, among other promotions. Travala claims advertising and adding DCR as a payment method for their services will bring about more exposure, help reach bigger audiences, and create a massive use case for Decred on millions of available products through their platform. Comments are still ongoing. MonPR's proposal to continue public relations and media efforts has passed with 90% yes votes and a voter turnout of 25% with over 10,000 votes cast. 
a proposal must have 60% yes votes in order to pass with at least a 20% voter quorum. You can join in on the discussion by going to proposals.decred.org and making an account. Stakeholders vote on proposals via Decred's GUI wallet to credit on in the Governance tab or via command line. Thanks for tuning into this week's bi-weekly news update. Make sure to follow Decred on Twitter and don't be scared to join in on the discussions happening on Reddit, Discord, and Matrix. Decred is secure, adaptable, sustainable. Learn more at decred.org.